In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, good people of God. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Saturday, the 3rd of June, 2023. It is Saturday of the eighth week in ordinary time, Church Year A. Today is the memorial of St. Charles Luanga and his companions, Martyrs of Uganda. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by saints Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 51, verses 12 to 20. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 19. The response to the psalm is, The precepts of the Lord are right. The gladden the heart. The gospel is taken from St. Mark, chapter 11, verses 27 to 33. I read from the gospel. At that time, Jesus and his disciples came again to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him, and they said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I will ask you a question, answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism of John from heaven or from men? Answer me. And they argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? But shall we say from men? They were afraid of the people, for all held that John was a real prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is We have authority to act given to us by Christ. We have authority to act given to us by Christ. Dear friends in Christ, in today's gospel passage, Jesus' authority to teach is brought to question. He is in the temple teaching. He is doing what he knows and does best. But the scribes, the chief priests and the elders of the people are not happy with him. So they question his authority. By what authority, they ask him, are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? By questioning Jesus' authority, they ask him, As who are you teaching? Are you a rabbi? Where did you school and what educational background have you to be a teacher? On what grounds do you stand in the temple teaching? What or who gave you the right and the effrontery? Jews counted lots on the authority of a person. We remember that when Jesus was being judged and about to be condemned, the people would not take any decision about Jesus until the competent authority, Pilate, had so decided. They also counted on the authority of Moses and Abraham. Whatever Moses taught, they held to be the gospel truth. 
Jews were not taught just by any and everyone. They had learned men, the lawyers, the rabbis, teachers of the law, and for all they knew, Jesus was not one of them. To have qualified as a teacher, one needed also to have been schooled by a great rabbi. St. Paul, for example, cited his apprenticeship under Gamaliel, confer Acts of the Apostles, chapter 22, verse 3. Gamaliel, being taught by him, was the authority that Paul had to be a preacher and a teacher. I am a Jew, Paul said, born in Tarsus of Cilicia, but brought up in this city. I studied under Gamaliel and was thoroughly trained in the law of our ancestors. In other translations, we have it as, I was educated at the feet of Gamaliel. Gamaliel was a leading authority in the Sanhedrin. He was the son of Simeon ben Hillel, the grandson of the great Jewish teacher Hillel the Elder. You can then imagine how respected someone was if such a one said he was taught by Gamaliel. Because Gamaliel came from a line of learned men and he was one himself. To have been taught by Gamaliel, you had the authority because your teacher was a great authority. But Jesus was not taught by Gamaliel nor any other great rabbi. So what was the basis of his authority to teach? They supposed he had to stop. What could an ignorant, an uninformed man possibly teach the people if not misinforming them? But the people were however having it all wrong. Jesus has all the authority because he is God. In Matthew chapter 28 verse 18, Jesus says, All authority in heaven and on earth have been given to me. He has the authority because he is wisdom and he is truth himself. From as early as 12, he was teaching the elders and rabbis in the temple, much to their amazement and delight. Confer Luke chapter 2 verses 41 to 52. He is himself the lawgiver and can best teach and interpret the law. He had the authority and for that, he gave this very authority to his apostles. I have given you authority to tread underfoot serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Confer Luke chapter 10 verse 19. He also gave them power because he had the authority to act in memory of him. He gave them the authority to transform bread and wine into his body and blood. He gave them the authority to forgive sins. And he gave them the authority over unclean spirits and also to heal all diseases. Confer Luke chapter 9 verse 1. The elders did not actually question Jesus' authority because they doubted what he taught. They saw it. They knew. Jesus taught truth that they knew and he taught with authority better than the scribes and Pharisees. Matthew chapter 7 verse 29. The point is, they did not want to accept the truth that he taught and that he was a better teacher than them all. Rather than accept the truth, they rather tried to sabotage him by laying claim to his lack of any educational background. They abandoned the essence, the truth of his doctrine, and went at hominem, attacking his person. They will also deny the truth of the baptism of John the Baptist, not because they did not know that it came from heaven, and would rather tell a lie that they did not know. Not because they did not know, but because they did not want to accept the truth. Beloved of the Lord, many times we too have denied the truth that people taught us or told us about ourselves, and we have hung on their person. You are talking to me as who? We ask them. Who gave you the authority to question me? Are you better than me? Have you never done the same or worse? Or do you think I don't know or I have not heard of the things you do or have done? You that the other day, this was what you did. Sometimes we even become assaultive. The question is, 
what they said to you is it true if yes then accept it stop attacking people for the truth they tell you and for your failure to accept the truth stop attacking people and seeking to know who gave them the authority to question you or talk to you even when you know what they say is true we fail to accept the truth of a preacher and we begin attacking his person he did talk like say he better he speaks as if he is better accept the truth that he tells you truth is truth regardless of who says it even if it were a mad person or a child or an uneducated person they can talk to you and question you because they have the authority the word of god is the authority that they have confer ezekiel chapter 33 verse 9 we have the duty to admonish sinners in james chapter 5 verse 20 we are told that whoever brings back a sinner from their evil way such one is blessed so the word of god is the authority that others have to admonish you in your error they have the authority to admonish you as children of god because we are our brothers and sisters keepers by baptism we have the authority to admonish one another because by baptism we are made priests prophets and kings so you can teach and jesus gave us all that mandate to go out and to make disciples of the whole world matthew chapter 28 verses 19 to 20. so therefore beloved do not shy away to correct others and to tell them the truth because you have the authority that has been given to you by christ whether they accept you or not and when others come to you to correct you they have the authority accept the truth that they tell you and do not question the authority that they have to talk to you today we celebrate saint charles luanga and his companions martyrs of uganda they are the pride of africa with the whole church we honor 22 ugandan martyrs they are the first martyrs of sub-saharan africa and true witnesses of the christian faith charles luanga a catechist and a young leader was martyred in the year 1886 with a group of catholic and anglican royal pages some of whom were not yet baptized king mwanga who despised the christian religion gave orders that all the christian pages in his service be laid upon a mat bound placed onto a pyre and burned this took place at namugongo just outside kampala together with all the christians and people of uganda we raise our voices in thanksgiving to god for these matters of uganda and through their intercession may we recognize the authority of christ and recognize the authority that we have and that others have to admonish us to do what is right and to stop what is evil we wish a happy feast day to all those who are named after the matters of uganda and a great celebration to our ugandan brothers and sisters amen the lord be with you may the blessing of almighty god the father and the son and the holy spirit come down on you and remain with you forever Amen.